friends i am going to discuss about uh, gel filtration chromatography today see gel filtration chromatography is also known as molecular sieve chromatography and it is also known as size exclusion chromatography it separates the molecules always on the basis of size now we can understand the technique by using an example suppose we are having a sample which is having four components a b c and d component number 1 is 2 micrometer second is 4 micrometer third one is suppose 6 micrometers and fourth one is suppose 8 micrometers by size i mean the diameter suppose this is the component so 2 micrometer is the diameter of a suppose it is the a component right 4 micrometer is the diameter of b 6 of c and d for chromatography for any kind of column chromatography first of all you need a column and this column should always be made of glass right in this column you need to fill beads so understand the technique i have drawn these beads in various colors suppose see you can fill up beads of different different sizes or you can fill up beads of the same sizes also depends on the sample but here in this case for better understanding i have filled up beads of different sizes this two means the bead has a pore size of 2 micrometer question arises what is pore size pore size means if this is a bead then a 2 micro if this is a bead of 2 micrometer written on it or 2 micrometer component can go inside it the pore size i am talking about the word pore size and this is the column right in the beads written for so 4 micrometer component obviously 2 micrometer component can also enter but the 6 micrometer component will be larger and won't be able to enter 4 micrometer bead coming to this 6 micrometer bead to 6 micrometer that is c can enter b can enter this bead a can enter this bead but d won't be able to enter this bead right this is the first step like any column chromatography the first step that is preparation of column in the second step you add the sample addition of sample containing a b c and d right now what will happen d won't be able to enter any of these beads because its size is 8 micrometer so d will always remain in the intercellular spaces present all over here and won't be able to enter any bead so it will come out it will be eluted first of all first elution by elution i mean coming out the process of uh, bringing the samples out of the column which is going to be this is the sample addition and the third step in any column chromatography is elution elution is adding a buffer over here so that the sample components can come out now um, again i am moving to the second part first of all that is sample addition this two in this two micrometer beads a will be added but b c and d won't be able to go to here now i am removing this and i am writing a a comes over here and a can come over here right a can come here also here also here also a is a small component it can come in all the large beads right coming to b b cannot come in this three beads which i have marked with red right b will go in the four micrometer beads this is 4 micrometer this is 4 micrometer it can go in 6 micrometer beads over here here and over here it can go and coming to c c can go only in this 6 
micrometer B. So this B is having both A, B and C but not D. Now come to the third part that is elution. You add a buffer to this solution. What is the function of buffer? The buffer pushes out the sample components further apart. Right? In the first step, this D which has not crossed any beads will have to travel the least amount of space. It will travel through the intercellular spaces or interbeadal spaces in this column and come out first. So it has the first elution. Right, coming to second elution, please note that C, which is of next size to D, 6 micrometer, will come out. This C, this C component, which I am deleting from here, C, C will travel through the intercellular spaces from this side, this side can come over here, but if it is coming over here, it can come over here, but it cannot enter any of the other beads and comes out in the second number, then C. Second eluent. Eluent is the correct word for approval. Then the next size, obviously B, which crosses uh, the these beads. So um, coming to third one is uh, B, third eluent, and uh, last one is A, which is the smallest component. See, look at A. Uh, when it comes over here, comes in one bead, then in second, then in third, in fourth, it will go and it will travel the largest space inside this column. Because it is traveling a lot of space, so it will come out of the last. So this is the fourth eluent or last eluent in this case. So uh, in case of gel filtration chromatography, through a gel the sample components are filtered and separated on the basis of size the largest component being eluted out first and the smallest component being eluted out in the last mm. that's all thank you